Okay, guys, welcome back. So now we'll be designing our digital paper to match our backdrop in IPK as I earlier explained. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to sign up for your IPK account. It's free um, to use. There will be no cost attached to that. And once you've signed up and done your thing, you're going to be able to edit photos, make collages, and um, create your own designs. First thing you're going to want to do is to click Create Design if we're going to be doing a digital paper. Um, we've already dis decided our colors um, based off the backdrop that I showed you. So now we know exactly where we're going with our digital paper. Uh, once a new space has been um, loaded, we're going to click new. And what when you click new, it's going to ask you to input the dimension of the size of the page that you're trying to create. So I'm trying to create a um, letter size sheet. Um, this is 8.5 by 11. Um, based on my research, I saw that 8.5 by 11 is 1,000 pixels by 1,500. And that is if you're going to have when it's printed you're gonna have 125 pixels per inch i know this means nothing to me or many others but it's important to understand some of these things and it helps you while you're going along your way in creating your designs so we're gonna create that page and look it appears as if it's a letter size sheet the next step is to uh create um, the design so once you've opened your sheet you'll get a layer section here that shows you how many layers you have once you've opened the sheet you'll get one layer now to make the design that we're trying to make we're gonna need to have to we're gonna have to be duplicating our layer to get the different colors in the backdrop I had it had um, gray white blue light blue and dark blue so it has gray white light blue dark blue gray white light blue dark blue and that's the color that keeps recurring throughout the backdrop four colors however because i want to incorporate a different color into my decor i'm also going to be incorporating that color in in this paper in the space of the gray so my paper still has four colors but instead of this gray it's going to be green light blue green white light blue and dark blue okay so let's do that you're going to select your la your layer and you're going to resize the layer now to do that you're going to unlock the layer you're going to um, on highlight this padlock select the layer and then you're gonna try and you're gonna resize them you notice there you're seeing a trans the transparent background for those of you who know about creating PNG designs or this is a great way to do designs and have your transparent background um, so this is the first one this would this color would be representing the gray and I'm, I want to use a lime kind of green for that then we're going to be duplicating that layer move it over and there we have another layer but we're going to be changing that new layer to white because that's our next color and then we're gonna pull that to get the size that we want. Now for this one, we're gonna duplicate again. We're gonna stick that there. And the next color is the um, light bluish blue. Mm, one with that one. 
We're going to duplicate this again. And the next color is our dark blue. And so there is the first panel of a pattern or colors that we've designed. Now to fix this, to ensure that it's all lined up, you're going to zoom the page a bit. Once you start zooming, you're going to notice a box at the bottom here. You're going to move the highlighter in that box to take it to the areas that you want to make changes to. So, if you want to move that a little bit and fix that a little bit. And once you've had those colors done the way you want them, the next step is to just duplicate this pattern straight across. So let me show you to do one more and then I'll speed it up for the rest. So the next one is we're going to duplicate that. You can duplicate duplicate each more than once this way you'll have you can bring the pattern across easily duplicate so we duplicate each of them twice two and then we're going to create some patterns so we're going to click on the first one i'm going to take it across it's very important before you do this to go back to your layers panel and ensure that all the padlocks are unlocked because it's easier to edit when everything is open like that. So we, we had duplicated our white, so we're just going to take the white over. We duplicated the cayenne, we're going to take that over. And then we duplicated the blue, we're going to take that over. We duplicated them twice, so let's see. We're going to take. done that um, you're gonna want to export your design you're you're either going to want to export your design to add additional design elements to it or you're gonna want to save it as is so you can print your paper and use it however you want to use it for today's tutorial I'm gonna end right here so I'm just gonna save the paper and then to my account and you could save it to the highest resolution normal high and highest I save it to the highest resolution and I'm saving it as Harley's third and once you've saved that um, that's it you have your digital paper now you could um, use this paper however you want in 